Over the years, a lot of presentations in my classroom have been aided by slideshows. Unfortunately, plenty of time has been spent watching poor slideshows as well. Here is some of the best advice you'll ever get on how to create good slides and give better presentations. Audiences are filled with dread every time someone uses a slideshow because plenty of presentations are incredibly boring. To begin, I'll talk about how the universe was formed 13 billion years ago. Next, I'm going to talk about how our solar system was being developed when the universe was cooling 9 billion years later. In conclusion, I'll talk about how the sun will be transformed into a red giant. To keep it interesting, some people try to tell a story. It's believed that 13.7 billion years ago, our universe was started with the Big Bang. Don't read your slides. No one wants to hear a presentation read word for word. Some scientists believe that all matter is going to be pulled back together in the Big Crunch. Instead, talk about the subject as if you were having a conversation. Fractions of a second later, the universe was being pushed apart by superforces. Most people make the mistake of looking at the screen the whole time. In addition, a majority of scientists believe galaxies are still being propelled apart perhaps by a force called dark energy. Remember, you're the star of your presentation, not your slides. You're succeeding if everyone wants to watch you, not your slides. 4.6 billion years ago, the sun and our solar system were born from something called a molecular cloud. When it comes to text, less is more. Don't use paragraphs, and definitely don't put everything you want to say on the screen. The universe is filled with billions of galaxies. Each galaxy may be made up of millions to trillions of stars. Instead, keep it light. Each slide needs only a few words, and every word counts. Remember, bullet points are read more easily than paragraphs. 3.6 billion years ago, the earliest forms of life were developing. Your text must be read by everyone in the room. If your font is too small, it won't be recognized by anyone who sits at the back. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, was shaped into a large spiral. Dark text on a light background is the best. Likewise, we often wonder, could life have formed on any other planets? Points First, to be covered should like be posted one at a time. Otherwise, your later points will ago. be read by the audience Second, while you're still talking about the earlier ones, and they'll get ahead of you. Almost nine billion years later. In conclusion, if you have a handout, it should be handed out at the end so your audience won't read ahead while you're talking. If you let your audience know at the start that you'll hand out the presentation at the end, anyone who wants to take notes won't feel they have to write during the whole presentation. To sum it up, I just wanted to say thanks for listening. And that's it. Now, I expect to be presented with some really good slideshows this semester. See you in class.